So I'm back this week with another all around summer entertaining episode in collaboration with Entertaining with Beth. This is a really fun series that we're doing to kind of get you guys prepped for summer get togethers, parties, whatever you have planned coming up. We thought it would be fun to collaborate, put our heads together. So if you're having people over and you're not sure what to serve them, definitely go check out her channel after I'm done with this video and you can find some really easy and quick ways to feed your guests. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my tips on how to get your space in tip top shape for your next party or get together even if it's last minute. So let's jump right in. My first tip is to evaluate the type of get together that you're having. If you're having a lot of people over and there are certain rooms that are not as clean or you don't have time to get it organized and you'd rather have them not go in there, you can just simply close those doors and most guests will kind of just get the hint. It's also a great tip if you're having a last minute get together because you don't have to clean the entire house. My next tip is to prepare. And when you prepare, it's just preparing for the worst thing that could happen when you have a bunch of guests over. So I like to have stain removals on hand because people are hanging out, maybe dropping drinks. And you can make a homemade one with vinegar and about 20 drops of essential oils. A spot cleaner is definitely something you should have around your house in general, but when you're having get-togethers and you're going to have more foot traffic, people could be spilling drinks, you don't want to feel overly paranoid, so you just have to have, you know, the proper essentials, and you just spray it and pat it with a wet cloth and just let it dry and it will be gone. My next tip is I actually picked up a bunch of these kind of uh, chalkboards for around the house and I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna whip them out whenever I have a special event or a get together. You know, first and foremost, the, the large one, I'm just gonna write welcome. But if you're having a bridal shower or a baby shower, you can kind of go all out and you can customize it. So what I did was I just got a little stand and I put it right when you enter into my house. But you can get a larger stand and put it outside. You can totally customize it and so that's what I love about the chalkboard idea. also picked up some of the really small chalkboards and these are for hanging up and what I liked about these were a they were only four dollars and I thought that they would make really great labels for the bathroom for the coat closet for the room that you want them to put their purses in so you can close the doors of the rooms that you don't want them to go into or you can leave the doors open it's totally your preference if you want people to be able to go into every single room depending on the size of your get-together but it's always kind of difficult to tell every single person who comes in where the bathrooms are where they can put their purses and coats. So I loved this. I just took some thin rope and put it, looped it through, and then I'm just gonna hang that on the doors. And you can just let your guests know that there will be signs to help guide them for where the restroom is and where they can put their purses and coats. So in general, whenever I'm cleaning my house, I always start by removing clutter because clutter can give a spotless house a messy appearance very quickly. And um, you know, you wanna give your guests room to move freely about your house. So I remove obviously baby toys, any you know leftover mail, shoes, keys, anything that's just kind of unsightly. I put everything in its place, I fluff the pillows, and I just kind of declutter. Next, we get into the actual cleaning. So sometimes for me, it helps to start in a certain area. So I begin cleaning from the entryway of my house and I kind of work my way through the places that I know my guests will spend the majority of their time in. So, you know, the living space, the kitchen. I'm obviously going to clean the counters and the bathroom and you want to kind of focus on the areas that they're going to be spending the majority of their time in. I saved that cleaning container. It's actually an all natural recipe that I will have on my blog for you in case you are interested. So I think we all know how to clean our own houses, but the finishing touches are my favorite. If you prefer that guests take off their shoes, 
I always recommend having socks available for them. Now, I let my guests choose whether they want to keep their shoes on or take them off, but I always have socks just in case they like to take their shoes off. And I do have tile floor, so it makes it more comfortable. One of my favorite finishing touches is flowers. And I like to have them in my house as often as possible, but especially if I'm having a party or guests over. I think it's just a really pretty finishing touch. And if I know I'm going to be going to the store to pick up some ingredients, I will pick up a bouquet of flowers only because I feel like they're a little bit more symmetrical and it makes for a prettier arrangement but you could most definitely just pick flowers out of your garden or your backyard and make an arrangement for your table, for your bathroom, especially for the guest bathroom I always like to put an arrangement in there. I do like to put out fresh hand towels, freshly washed hand towels. I have traditional soap but I also have a soap dispenser. I have some disposable hand towels as well just in case my guests prefer that and then I do keep some poopery in there. I keep a basket in my guest bathroom full of toiletries and I usually collect these small toiletries when I'm traveling at various hotels. So I have lotion, I have shampoo and conditioner in case they're spending the night, ear swabs, tampons, little soaps, hand towels, anything I think that they'll need or that will make them feel more comfortable. I always put extra toilet paper right there where they can see it so they don't have to search through drawers or you know look through cabinets or anything and it just makes it really easy for your guests. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my tips and tricks for your next get together or party and don't forget to go check out Entertaining with Beth for her ideas for the meal and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye!